we are some of its prime movers and shakers, what the Manchester music industry is all about. The music industry in any city, except Los Angeles, but in any other city in the world, um, consists of a significant bunch of young people um, making music and being involved in all the, the wage-paying activities that go along with that. And in Manchester, which is a particular city for this activity, I suppose, um, there are 5,000 kids. 43 of them are given this gift by God to write melody, and the other 4,954 people have to work with these appalling things called musicians. But every musician, he needs his, ma you know, there's, there's a young manager, there's a, an assistant, someone's driving the van, someone's making the equipment, someone's running the clubs and the venues, someone's selling the drink over the bar. Uh, it's a, a completely large and complex culture, although it thrives when based around talent, which peculiarly Manchester seems to have had in some abundance. We're all, always, always, always. Like 70s. In 76, you had Buzzcocks, Toy Division, The Fall, John Cooper Clark, and then shortly afterwards you had Magazine. Um, who else? Okay, come on, help me. I just think about that time, me and Bernard, when we, when we started the band, and the Buzzcocks were already up and running, and we were desperate to know what to do in a band. It was like we didn't know what to do, what a band did or anything, you know, how to get gigs or anything. So we took Pete Shelley out. <coughs> Best date he ever had. And uh, to this pub in Broughton, and asked him, what, what, what do you do if you're in a band? And then we gathered what it was. You get someone else to buy you a drink, because that's all he did. 